What the freaking heck is up gamers? Welcome back to another epic video. Today we have six new hyperchargers that were just added to Brawl Stars. They're all pretty cool. Some of them are a little goofy. Some of them are worse and some of them are better than others. So today I'm going to rank all six of the new hyperchargers. Let's freaking go. So we have Mortis, Tara, Squeak, Poco, Nani, and Surge. And I'm very happy with some of these. But first, I have to buy more gems with Code Nose because I am broke. Not so broke no more, baby. Let's go. Show them to me. Show the gems. Where are my gems? Oh, my gems. So we're going to start out with what I think is the worst hypercharge of the update. That's going to be Nani's. It's called Big Peep. Kind of funny. Lil Peep. Yeah. I'm taking every brawler into what I think is their best mode for the video. And wow, I don't want to go against bots right now. All right. Well, we can at least go ahead and test it out. I'm curious to see how big it actually gets because depending on the size, like, oh my gosh, that's actually, and I wasted it. Yeah, baby. And if there's ever a hypercharge that I cannot physically get during a match because it's so slow to get then it's automatically really bad this one though doesn't feel incredibly slow to get but it's not the fastest in the world i wouldn't say however nani is just a really good brawler all things considered so i'm glad that she got one finally okay let's go in here and try to like break their stuff or do that that works too okay i'm just gonna throw a super out we're getting close to getting the hypercharge so if i can just hit the easy to hit 8 bit then we're good we gotta start pulling our way here, boys. Dude, can't get hit like that, man. Dude, Spike's health buff is actually crazy. He has 6,000 now. My guy's actually a tank now. I need one more hit, and I have hypercharge super. Dude, you cannot be getting tapped like this. Like, what game am I playing? All right, let's use the hypercharge, bro. Can I please kill this Piper? Or kill the Spike, too. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Can I, like, get this Piper? Please? Come here. Thank you. She's dead. Finally, man. Where's the Spike? There he is. Oh, my gosh. He's dead. Yeah, get fricked. Dude, Piper, get out of that bush. Oh, this guy. She's literally AFK, bro. Brother, she's AFK. There. It was that easy. It was that easy, bro. Give me that kill. I swear, if she jumps back in that bush, I might delete the game. Oh, get rolled, bro. Get rolled. Yeah, yeah, you guys suck. Get out of here, man. Ouch. Okay, she's back in the bush. Honestly, doing nothing for her team right now because she should be on the zone. Trying to send her. Yeah, kill her. What are you going to do, Piper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bozo, get wrecked. And we just win. I didn't even get to use the hypercharge, bro. Guaranteed last place, but it is good to see that she has one. The second worst hypercharge in today's video is Squeak. I think that this one is pretty bad, but it could be underrated. It really depends. You basically throw two supers out, one in the spot where you normally put it, and then another one way further forward, which could get absolutely zero value depending on where it goes. I'm also taking Squeak into Hot Zone because it just makes sense. They have Mortis. That's not good. I'm a Squeak. Okay, we have a pretty controlled team though so i'm actually not too upset about this and we got the most annoying gadget in the game let's go and this is where the trouble starts please don't get your super and i win get rolled and now the tick is exactly where the piper was in the previous match and his hypercharge got buffed this update i might try to go up there and get the tick bro this guy's obnoxious okay let me just throw my super hit her with it there we go she's dead Dude, the tick. I can't go onto the zone. Poco, watch out. No. He's dead, though. Uh-oh, buddy. Uh-oh, buddy. No, that's up to me now. Poco, can you... Poco. Okay. Thank you <laughs> for doing nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna throw this on there to annoy them. The Mortis is actually a bad player right now, so that's pretty good to see. Uh-oh. Okay, we got it. I'm gonna try and sneak attack the tick because he's being such a nuisance. I'm just gonna chuck my thing right there. Hopefully, it lands directly on him. Yes, it did. He's dead. He's almost dead. It's so close. I have hypercharge. Let's throw it. Boom. And then it should bounce again. And that was a horrible time to use it. Uh, wait, throw an attack. <laughs> the score is actually like tied up right now, which is surprising because we're on the zone majority of the time, I'd feel. Okay, Pearl hypercharge actually possibly getting some value right now because I can't really go on to it. Uh, boys, boys, he can't get me. Yep. Somebody shoot it. Bro, these tick heads are impossible for us to deal with. Can we kill the pearl. Can we kill the pearl. Thank you. Okay, the hypercharge tick head is coming in. Hypercharge tick head coming in. And he pushed it away. Perfect. I'm not going to lie, Broski. I literally got this hypercharge one singular time, and I don't think it did anything because I just whipped it out there. A better time to use it would be when we are returning to the zone when they're all on it. I'm going to have to make a huge play right now with my hypercharge, even though I don't have super with it, and I'm not going to get my super with it. Pearl wins. We had such a horrible team against the tick. So the third hypercharge of this video is Tara's. It just makes her super a little bit larger, which is probably the most boring effect ever. It also apparently doesn't increase the speed or the duration of it because it doesn't say it does, so I'm just going to assume that it doesn't, but who knows. I will 
was kind of hoping that Tara would get one that's a little bit more interesting because her super is already wide enough. It already team wipes good enough. So I was kind of hoping that it would maybe stick around for longer. It just being a little larger probably won't do much. However, I do think that a simple size increase might be better than the other stuff that we've seen today. I'm also unsure as to how fast we get this one. So we'll see. Dynamite, we can't be feeding a surge like this. Oh my gosh, dude. Can you kill him? Oh, we got a super. Let's just leave the squeak. He's not doing nothing. I thought I dodged that, but I'm bad. Get the surge out of here. Boom, you're dead. Elbozo, get wrecked. Run him down, little shadow. You got buffed. So you should do good things in this world right now. Okay, get the max out of here. I have hyper charge, but I'm not going to use it yet. Just going to put these down so then he can't do nothing. Dynamite, I cannot believe you just threw like that. We still score though. I just need my super back so then I can actually hyper charge it. Okay, Cordelius, you want to not bring that to me? Okay, okay, hyper charge super. Boom, boom, huge, huge. Wait, that's actually kind of massive. I still die after it, bro. Where's my shadow? Aren't you supposed to be my bodyguard? What are you doing? We win. Let's freaking go. That super probably would not have hit if I didn't hypercharge there. And we won off that hypercharge as well. So that's pretty huge. The next hypercharge of today's video is surges. And I'm kind of tied between this one and the one after it. But I think that the one after this is just maybe a little bit more uh, potential based. Kind of glad that surge got a hypercharge. This is interesting too. I was not expecting them to give him one. Adding a level five was a good idea. And I do like it when they bring old broken mechanics back for hypercharges. I say that all the time. Let's just do this and get Clancy dead. There we go. I may have fed him, but he fed me as well, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Fang, are you good, brother? Brother? Brother. All right. Yep. That's what we like to see. Tier 3 Clancy is the best brawler in the entire game, so we do have to be careful about that. Uh, their Fang is uh, AFK still. I'm dead. I should have used my shield. What am I doing? Oh, he's back. Oh my gosh, he almost just did a team wipe. <laughs> I already have hypercharge. This is probably going to be easy, but it's gem grab, so you know. Okay, what am I doing? I just lost all of my levels, bro. That could have been a flawless game. However, with my hypercharge, I could. Or I could just die. That works too, you know? Dude, this Dynamic is the best player on the team he's actually carrying. Bull, go in. You have hypercharge super. Do it. Kill him. Okay. No, I needed that. I need a hit, brother. Brother, I need a hit. Brother, I need a hit. What are you doing? Okay, let's get the level five going. Boom. Split it. Big damage. Big damage. Yup. Yup. Kill him. Oh my gosh. Wait. The tier five. It's actually insane. Bull, run out. Run. Run. Run for your life, bro. Run for your life. How did you die? Where's he at, man? He's over there. No shot, bro. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Dude. <laughs> Gem grab moment. Bull, run away. Run away, brother. Run away. Oh my goodness, bro. Hold on. I can get hypercharged. Boom. Boom. Huge. Boom. 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 This was the craziest match of my entire life. How did we win? That's just wild to me. And it's all thanks to the Fang for going AFK that they lost. The next one in this video, second best is uh, Poco's hypercharge. Go. Oh, it's my favorite one because it's actually the exact idea that I had in mind. I will forever be grateful for Poco's hypercharge because of that single fact. And also Poco accidentally got a skin released early in the catalog. So that's why I have this, by the way. There was a glitch and I got it. I'm going to go full heal here because I'm going to ultra heal and over heal my teammates and the only way to use the hypercharge is if they're already at full hp so then i need to use it so then they can go in with their overshields i think the best way of using this hypercharge is your teammates need to be down like 2000 health so then your heal can full heal them i believe and then also overshield them at the same time or maybe it only works when they're at full hp i'm not too certain but we can test it in this match it also gives poco himself the overshield which is awesome so it, it will work when you're alone as poco i love that let me heal my teammate real quick. They got the kill. Let's go. We're huge. Okay, let's kill this buzz real quick. He's dead. Easy peasy. Surge has super and he is uh, super dead? Question mark? Yep. There it is. Oh, I already have hypercharge. That is wild. I'm just going to use it. Let's go in, boys. Let's go. Overshield, baby. Overshield. Yeah, I think that did something. The stew still has an overshield. That is my favorite mechanic in this game. Overshield is so underrated. Boys, we need to be a little bit careful, though, because they have somebody in our back lines now, and it's a buzz, and that's just, like, really not okay. And uh, somebody sent help. Okay, I'm alive. I think we have a bit too much aggression here, boys. Bit too much aggression. Nope, it's over. It's over. We're going to lose now. Please, I have hypercharge back already? Bro, overshield. Oh, no, it didn't work, but I have it. Okay, that's not bad. And then I get the extra damage, and boom, she's dead. This is probably my favorite hypercharge in the game, boys. I love seeing ideas like this come to life. It's a rare moment where, like, my exact vision of a hypercharge exists and i'm loving it man that's all i'm saying i'm loving how this plays this is really nice and we basically win i can't believe how fast poco gets his hypercharge i got 
three that game. Six and zero, first time using Poco Hyper Charge. I am so pleased with this one. And the final Hyper Charge is Mortis, but I accidentally bought it at the beginning of this video, so I'm gonna play that clip right now. Mortis the Magnificent. Nyah. Hyper Charge Blood Boomerang. I've heard very good things about this one, which is why I'm putting it as my number one Hyper Charge in today's video. Like, bro, I may be excited for Kenji, but my love for Mortis has went up a lot recently, which is only adding to my excitement for Kenji when he comes out. Also, Kenji cosplay coming out soon, by the way. If everything arrives tomorrow before I leave for the weekend, then I'm gonna try to do it that day. Otherwise, it'll be next week. Or I could wait until he comes out. I'm not too sure yet. Bro, look at the Draco. He's got the glitched movement. He moves like Poco now, which is so weird to me. Brother, just get over here, bro. You're so dead. What are you doing going in our back lines like that? Okay, so I could just go in and bait out one of Ems's gadgets, or I could just go in and kill the crow. That works too. And I'm gonna die though. Yeah, that was not worth it. Yo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is my connection doing? Getting a little bit of delay here. We're halfway to the hypercharge, so it's not that hard to get either, which is good. I'm not playing very good right now. We need to just get our super, and by then we'll have the hypercharge, so I could possibly use it. Uh, I don't want to use it right now. That's just not worth it. I'll go back and try and get another super. Okay, I might just go in and use it right now, honestly. One, two, three, four, five, super him. Yup, 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 yup. Dude, Draco, come on, man. Can I kill him? Please? Please? Oh, that gadget! Bane of my existence! I want to go in. Okay, hold on. Um, okay, perfect. I'll take that. Hypercharge? Yes! He did not expect the big damage right there. I may have not been able to use the hypercharge super, but we are chilling right now. I don't know what my delay is. That super should have came out. Draco should be dead though. And we win. The delay kicking in kind of ruined the experience there, but I got a little peek at what it does. Fighting a Draco with it obviously didn't work. He just kind of pressed the funny button. Still though, that was fun. And I think we won every match in this video. No, we didn't. Everything but the squeak game. Yeah, besides that, all the hybrid charges were pretty fun. And my favorite is Poco's. I really like Mortis's as well because he's a fun brawler, but man, Poco's is really cool. With that said, subscribe. I'll try to predict the next six that come out in a few weeks and I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.